welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little vlog, of course. And if you're wondering where I am, I'm in my old bedroom at my mum and dad's house because that's where I've been today. Well, I haven't been here today. I've been here for like a couple of hours. Excuse the mess behind me, by the way. Um, this morning, I headed into London bright and early. I had a breakfast event um, with Dove. And yeah, it was really nice to learn a little bit about their new products, which are the Derma. Be good if I remembered because I don't actually have them on me. They said they're gonna email, not email, mail the products in the post. Um, but they are the Derma series products. And yeah, we learned a lot about that. And I actually thought it might have been like a sit down breakfast event, but it wasn't, it was canapes. I was so hungry. Um, that I headed to Pret after that and I got a little granola pop been such a beautiful day so that was really nice I sat and ate breakfast of my own and then I headed to another event it's been very manic today so I'm just catching you guys up on what I've been up to um, I went to another event in Paddington which was at Pergola which is such a cool venue I'm actually not sure what that is like most of the time but such a cool place for an event basically the fragrance shop um have hired it out i think just for today as like a little festival and i'm sure now it will definitely be picking up because i went at about half 11 so it was only just sort of beginning um and i just popped in before i came back and it was very cute and so so nice in there honestly felt like i was on holiday got a little goodie bag which i thought i'd just show you what i got Actually, I've had to get ready and go back to London. I was going to stay there all day and just like bang out some work and possibly like sit in a park if there was sun and sit in a cafe. I did do that for about an hour after the second event. I realised I had a long time to kill. Um, it was about 12 when I was finished and I've got another event tonight at half past seven. So yeah, in my head, for some reason, I thought it'd be a great idea to stay in London all day. Um, but I'm so glad I came back. I've actually come back to my mum and dad's house because it's a little bit closer to London. And yeah, I popped in to see them for a bit. So yeah, I came back and then I think a car is picking me up in about an hour. So I need to freshen up my face, but I'm so glad I came back because I would have felt really you know this is what i picked up not picked up this is what i was given in a goodie bag from the fragrance shop which i was so gassed when i got invited to that because i love the fragrance shop i've shopped there for years like i always go there for christmas presents birthday presents obviously they sell perfume aftershave for everyone i can smell this one because it's been opened and my dad literally nabbed it for himself with basically without asking he did he did sort of jokingly ask and because i wasn't like no he took it so yeah this is a john richmond men perfume aftershave which he really liked this is a mark jacobs daisy little card holder which is very cute and i think i'm actually going to swap all my cards into this because it's got a little coin purse which is very handy my card holder doesn't have that so I think it might be time for a new little purse. Loads of testers. We've got Ghost, which again, I used to always get for Christmas. So I'm gonna keep some of these for myself and also keep some for presents. One from Misguided, Versace Eros. Um, I'm a sucker for perfume. And I actually wanna try this one. It's Narci Narciso Rodriguez. Sorry if I've said that wrong, but I think I mentioned before um, on YouTube or Instagram somewhere that I love this brand, in particular the Ombre, Armbar, something like that, the orange bottle, and I went through it so quickly. Um, I've had it a couple times now, but I've not actually smelt any of this brand's other stuff. So, yeah, it's for her. But I'm so, like, easy with perfumes. I love a unisex perfume, men's perfume, anything. So this one is the Pure Musk, which sounds lovely. When I first looked at it, I thought it said Pure Music. And the bottle's very sleek. So let's spray. Oh! That is nice! 
nice. <laughs> that reminds me of that meme that's like, ooh, this is nice. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I very kindly got all of these bits. And then, took a little trip to H&M last night in London because I mean, when in Rome, you know. I literally have H&M in my hometown, but I just never really seem to go there. I thought I'd do a little haul. I was actually wearing something completely different this morning, which was um, all pink, but I spilt coffee down it. So when I got home, my mum was like, Ellie, what have you got all down your trousers? And I was like, spilt my coffee. But I'm like, I was like, it's fine, like, it wasn't that bad, and she was like, take them off and let me wash them. So, <laughs> she's been, she washed them and they've been drying, so I probably will put that back on tonight, um, because I don't have any more clothes, I was planning to keep that on for the whole day. I did chuck this on when she put my trousers in the wash, and it's one of the dresses I picked up in H&M, it's just, it's actually missing, oh, not that one, it's missing a button here. Um, but I have got a spare one, so I'll just pop that on. But it's just a very easy chuck-on dress, especially for the summer. I love a t-shirt dress, and it does go down to, like, my shins. Sort of mid-shin, mid-calf. So, yeah. It's actually a medium, but it's quite oversized. And I just thought it was very cute and easy to chuck on which it has been today because it's been so nice and warm then i picked up this dress i actually went in for something like this because i love me a long ribbed strappy dress for the summer just to chuck on with like a shirt over or anything um blazer and i don't have one in black and i've been going to grab a black one for so long and i've just and every time I'm like, I need to get one. So I ran into H&M and I thought, that's the perfect place to sell one of these dresses. It's nice and ribbed and thick. Um, and it's like a maxi length, midi maxi. So yeah, this is just a very good basic for summer. $17.99. Then I picked up this cute little bralette, which I thought would be cute for like under blazers and stuff especially in the summer because a lot of my bralettes are a little bit revealing but this is actually kind of like a really crop top it's very covered it's not actually underwear it is like a top sort of thing so um yeah just thought that might come in handy It'd be good for going on holiday as well and then finally i picked up this dress which is not me like all over i wouldn't look at it and be like that is a bit of me but i saw it and the material is so nice. It's like a really thick linen, which just looked like it just called my name. And the sleeves are really nice and airy. And it's got a nice collar. Just looks like a really nice material, especially if you're, if you're going away. I've not got any more trips planned, but I'm really hoping to go away a couple more times this year. So, I mean, I've not got any booked, but I've got a couple in mind. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a short one, which is where it's like, oh, not really me. But if I go away, um, I get my legs out a bit more. And then I don't know if you can see, it's got like this wrap detail, which, yeah, I just thought was very cute. And I just really liked the colour, £40. And that's everything that I got from H&M. What I'm going to do now is just freshen up my face. Oh, this is the top I was wearing earlier. Zara and my trousers was from Zara. I'll show you them before I go out. But I think I might be a bit chilly. I chucked in a few bits of makeup into my bag earlier because of obviously if I was to stay in London. Yeah, tonight's event is with Rimmel, one of my faves. And it's actually very random where we're going for this event. So um, it's in Stratford. I think it's, it was for the Olympics. You know, like the slide, the really big swirly slide. I'll try and find a photo and insert it somewhere maybe. Yeah, I'm assuming we're going on the slide because the invite was like, dress to thrill. It said something like, we want to thrill you, like this thrilling new mascara or something. So that's like the whole theme of the event to be thrilled, which I guess, is where like the theme park idea comes in. Not theme park, ride. Yeah. I think I kind of got on the slide, which would be fun because it's kind of something you want to tick off. I've never done that. So I think it should be fun. 
I'm just touching up with a bit of concealer. Bring you in a bit, you can see my makeup's worn off. I have been wearing it since about 7 a.m. Yeah, I'm just touching it up. I literally just bought a bit of Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani concealer just to, because my makeup always rubs off around here. It's where I get like sweaty. We're going to go with it. I'm just going to bronze once I put my earrings back in and stuff. We'll look a little bit more lively. Powder. This one always goes everywhere, but it's so good. It's the By Terry Hydra Powder, and it really does. I don't know if you can see how dusty it goes, but it really does like close your pores up. I don't actually use it enough. I'm going to try and show you. Please just look at the difference between here and here. This area around my nose, this side I've done. And this side I haven't. Let me try and powder on camera. Can you see that? It literally fills them in. It's so mad. And I have actually had a lot of um, comments and DMs about, because obviously I've been telling you guys that I've been doing like a lot of makeup, um, a lot of weddings and a lot of makeup for brides. And so many people have been really interested in what I use for bridal makeup. Just trying to find my lip liner. Um, so yeah, obviously I do do things slightly different for a bride if you want it to last and you want it to look really good for pictures. I said I could do a video on showing you guys what I would use for majority of brides. Obviously, people do have their uh, styles and things that they want in particular, but if someone comes to me and they say like, I have no idea what I want, um, I'm getting married, I want to look beautiful, I want it to last, I will have like a standard look that I always use that suits everybody and just looks stunning. Like how you want a bride to look or how you want to look on your wedding day so um yes i can definitely do that for a video and i will just sit down and do my makeup with you uh or i could try and get um someone to film with me and do it on them and it's probably the sort of look i would wear when i get married i'm just using huda beauty in flirt what a difference a little touch up makes, eh? Um, and then I've been really loving using Vaseline again. Such a throwback. Because I love to use a balm as a gloss anyway. I always use the Kylie Skin Oil. That's my makeup done. I, don't, I didn't bring any eyeliner. I meant to. Maybe I can nab some of my mum's. I'm going to get dressed. Try and find some eyeliner. Um, probably just leave my hair down, to be honest. And I'll check in with you guys just before I leave. Okay, I'm just about to head out the door. I did find some eyeliner from my mum, which I've just put on. And the lighting in here is so bad, but I had to find somewhere to prop you up. So this is the outfit. These are the trousers that I wore all day. And they had a big fat stain around here, but my mum very kindly washed them. Um, and then this is the little crop top that I bought from H&M. Dress it up a tiny bit. Um, because it is obviously a bit more of an evening thing. These trousers are Zara, um, which actually are supposed to be like this, but I've just folded them over because they're very long. And this is kind of the fashion, right? Um, and then this blazer, I want to say, yeah, boohoo. And then I'm just wearing, I don't know if you'll be able to see, sandals, the ones that I wore all day. So yeah, this bit kind of dresses it up, but my shoes are very cash because yeah, I don't know if we're going on the bride, but I don't want to wear heels. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting for my car, running a bit late. The car's running late, not me. So yeah, I'll see you when we get there. <laughs> We are up the top. I don't know if you're about to hear me, but we're right at the top of the. I don't even know what it's called. And we're gonna go down the slide. There's very cute that red jumpsuit. And the products are in here. This is the product that we are here for. The Thrill Seeker. And it's the new mascara. I've not tried it yet, but I can't wait to give it a go. I don't know if I'm gonna put one of these on yet, but. Should I take them up, please? 